let's create a new class and let's just name it headers and you can get rid of the generated class we're going to use an enum so public enum headers of u short a u short is it maxes out at it's between 0 and 65,535 I believe that's about I'm pretty sure that's even overkill the commands will probably need in our applications. You could use an integer, but or an unsigned integer, but I doubt you'll need two billion or four billion commands. So U short is just fine. You might even only have to use a byte, but we'll just go with U short just for now. Now we'll create a few headers so we can run some tests with them. Let's have, hmm, let's have text, image, and do math. Now let's create a couple. Uh, let's create an enum for our subheaders. Public enum subheader. And you'll see what I mean by that in a bit. Let's see. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Actually, we name this to math headers. Okay. Now, this is how will separate everything when we send our packets. So we can we'll write text and then it'll show some text. We can write image and it'll show an image. We can write do math and we'll use our math headers to determine exactly what we're gonna do or what um, we want our program to do with the associated headers. So now let's head back to our program and we'll just simulate a couple of things. Let's create um let's create a new instance of our packet writer. And now we'll write our header called we'll write our text header. So let's um now we'll cast our enum header to a u short, so headers dot text. And now let's just write um console dot read line and now byte data equals uh, packet writer dot two array oops wrong one get bytes now this is where you simulate sending data this is after we um, get our byte array. This this has all of our um, information in it. This is where we would actually send the data, but since we don't really need to do that right now, this is just learning how to structure our headers. We don't need to do that. We'll just pretend that this is the other side. So now, with our packet reader, we'll create a new packet reader based on our data that we receive. Receive, quote unquote and we will get our header or our base header equals cast to headers pr dot read un16 which is a u short or unsigned short whatever you want to call it and now we'll switch we'll use a switch statement and see which header is which so case headers dot text case headers dot image and case headers dot do math okay and now with process text 
Actually, first, they're on our console. Okay, now this will be the this will be the other side. So let's pretend that we're doing something awesome with the text, but we'll just write to the console. So as you can remember now, with this you have to remember the pattern. So first we wrote our header, and then we wrote the text that we um, read from the console. So since we already read our header, next would be the text. So let's make a variable string text equals pr dot read string and console dot write line r received string text. Let's keep our console open and let's run this. And when we sent our data and we received it and processed our packet, our string is hello world. Now, wasn't that easy? Structuring your packets in .NET, it's extremely simple since so most of the stuff, most of the hard stuff is done for you already. So we'll do image when we create our um, form. But right now, let's just do addition with do math. Or addition and multiplication, we'll do addition and subtraction, something like that. So now, instead of it being text, we'll do something else. pw.write head headers dot do math cast to u short headers dot do math. Now we will write two numbers into the console for addition, and um, yeah, we'll just do addition for now. Pw dot write int dot parse console dot read line. Pw dot write int dot parse console dot read line, and the rest is the same. Only thing that's different is what we're writing. And now next, again our header will be read and then it'll go down to do math. And thing I forgot, we need to write our subheader. So write cast to u short headers, I mean math headers dot addition. Now we'll simulate that we're checking for all of our math headers. So math header math header equals cast to math headers pr dot read int 16 switch math header case math header dot addition case math header dot division case math helper dot multiplication and case math helper dot subtraction Right now, we'll only be using addition, but this is so you get the idea of different um, different types of subheaders and different types of things that you can do with your packet reader and your packet writer. So we are um, adding two numbers together, so let's get our numbers. Int num1 equals pr.read int32. Int num2 equals pr.read int32. Okay, now int val equals num1 plus num2. Console.write line our addition value is from plus our other argument. So it'll be value num1 and num2. So again, this is simulating our client or our server. We'll grab our data and then we'll send our information. And this will be the other side receiving. And we'll read our header. 